Hello and welcome everyone to my channel Code with Ease. So today we are going to discuss this question which is equilibrium point or equilibrium index. So in this we are given an array of n positive numbers and we have to find the equilibrium index of the array. So what's an equilibrium index? It's a position in which the sum of the elements on the left hand side or the sum of the elements before that index is equal to the sum of the elements after that. So as we can see in this example, 1, 3, 5, double 2, the output is 3. Uh, one more thing to notice, we are considering a one based index over here. Output is 3 in case of a one based index. So 1, 2, 3, the third number is 5. So 5 is considered as the equilibrium index because the numbers to the left of 5, that is 1 and 3, is equal to 4. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 and the numbers to the right, the summation of that is again equal to 4. So what we have to do is we have to take this array and, and we have to return the point of equilibrium. If there is no such point, we have to return minus 1. Okay, so now let's see how to solve this question. So the brute force way of solving this question would be. So the brute force way of solving this question would be. As we have this array. So let's say we are starting with the first element. So let's say we have an outer for loop which is tracking one element at a time. So our outer for loop is at one. And then we can run another loop inside the for loop which is going to check if the numbers of the on the left the, if the numbers on the left hand side of this element whatever the element is at is equal to the numbers on the right hand side so as you can see there is nothing on the left hand side so we can ignore this and move to the next number again numbers on the left hand side of 3 is 1 and numbers to the right hand side of 3 is 5 2 and 2 so these two sums are not equal so then since they are not equal, then we move to 5. And then when we are at 5, we are adding 1 plus 3 and then 2 plus 2. So how we are doing that, let's say for loop is the outer for loop is having, you know, it's pointing to ith index. Then the inner loops can be from 0 to i, one loop and one another loop can be from i plus 1 to n or n minus 1. So this 0 to i will be the LHS sum and i plus 1 to n minus 1 will be the RHS. So if those two sum LHS and RHS are equal, then we can say that ith index, whichever that element is, that is the equilibrium index. So this is like the naive way of solving this question. But the problem with this is the time complexity. We have an outer loop which is running n times and the inner loops are again n plus n times. So it's exponential one. So time complexity will be order of n square. We are being told that the time complexity expected is linear. So we have to try to optimize this now. So in order to optimize the solution, what we have to think of is wherever the current element is at, at that point in time, we have to take a decision whether, whether the LHS sum is equal to RHS. How can we do that? This is what we have to think. So one way would be if I take the total sum of the array first, like whatever the elements are, we just add it up and take the so total sum. So total sum we take first. So in this case, it would be 4 plus 5, 9 plus 2, 11 plus 2, 30. Okay. If we have the total sum and let's see, uh, let's start from the first element that is 1. So if I have to figure out the left hand side of LHS, so initially the LHS will be 0. So LHS is equal to LHS is equal to 0 and we are at i equal to 0. So if LHS is 0, i is also equal to 0. What do we, how do we find out the right hand sum if we have the total sum? Right hand sum will be nothing but total sum minus the left hand sum, whatever the LHS is, minus the current element. Because total sum at any given time is the RHS that this part and the this part and the number itself. So that's why if we have the total sum and if we have the LHS and the current element we can compute the RHS. So as we can see in this case LHS is 0. RHS can be found out using this formula and with that we will get to know that it is not equal. If it is not equal then we move to i equal to 1. When we are doing that one more thing we have to notice we have to update this LHS also from time to time. So now our LHS will, the new LHS will be whatever the LHS was plus the array 
the current element. So now our LHS is 1, which is true because if the current element is 3, on the left hand side we have 1. So LHS is 1. Now what is the RHS? So RHS is 13 minus 1 minus 3, which is equal to 12 minus 2, 10. We can check that, yes, 5 plus 2 plus 2 is 13 minus 1 minus 3, sorry. So it will be 12 minus 3, that is 9. So as we can see that 5 plus 2 plus 2 is 9. So this is the RHS. RHS and LHS are not equal. So now our LHS will get updated. So current LHS is 1, 1 plus the current element. That is 4. So this is the new LHS. Again, I moves to 2. So now our LHS is 4. And RHS in this case will be 13 minus 4 minus 5 which is equal to and if I am at current index is at 5 so 2 plus 2 is 4. So now LHS is 4. RHS is also 4. Since they are equal so we can say that Ith is the required equilibrium index. So, so that's the approach using which we have to solve this question. Okay so starting with the code changes Let's first uh, define the variables here. So let's have one's total sum, which will be equal to 0. And we'll have left sum, which will also be initially 0. And then let's start with the for loop. So int i equal to 0, i will be less than n, i plus plus. So at first, we have to compute this total sum. Okay, so this is going to this loop is going to take care of giving us the total sum. After we get this, the next iteration we have to do in order to check whether we have the equilibrium point or not. So I'll write another loop, uh, same thing. But in this case, we will be doing a comparison of the left sum and the right sum. So let's see how do we do that. We'll start off with computing the right hand sum first. So for doing that, we first need the total sum, like I have mentioned in this dry run, minus the left sum and minus the current element which is ARR of i. This is going to give us the right hand sum on the fly. Once we compute this then we have to do this check if the left sum is equal to right sum for this particular ith index then we can simply return the ith index. Uh, we have written int so yeah i we can return the index itself. If it is not then we have to add to our left sum the current element. So we'll say left sum plus ARR of i. If this is not true, then this is going to happen. So it will keep on adding to this. Okay. Finally, let's say if this condition never turned out to be true, we are supposed to return minus 1. If there is no such equilibrium point, then if there is no equilibrium point, in that case only this, oops, this if condition will be never true. So outside of this for loop, we have to return minus 1. Okay. Mm, yeah, I think uh, that's uh, that's about it. So let's try to compile and run this. In the file. Okay. Incompatible types. Okay. Oh, long. Okay. There's this is of type long. Mm -hmm. So we can uh, we have to change this to long. The computation is not happening because each element inside this is of type long, and we are doing the manipulation with the int. So okay, let's try this. This one also should be long. Expected output is 3, we are giving out 2. Is it some index mismatch? Uh, yeah, I thought so. I Okay, so since this is 1 based index and we are considering 0 based index, so here whatever the value of i will be, that will be according to 0 based index, but we have to return according to 1 based. So 0 plus 1, just we have to add plus 1 to this. It will submit. I 
Okay, so yeah, that's about this question, how to find the equilibrium point in an array. Uh, this is being asked in several companies, so we can check here. It's been asked in Adobe and Amazon. So it's a popular question uh, for interview also. And even if you are not preparing for an interview, just for your understanding of arrays, these questions are going to form the building blocks or they're going to form the foundation um, behind DSA. So I would highly recommend you guys to practice these questions. I will be posting the practice links in the description of this video. So do check them. So do check those out. And um, yeah, do let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or any suggestions regarding this. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel in order to be updated about more such content like this. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video.